Hey guys, it's Amber from NotableInc.com and I'm excited to bring you brand new all to new washi tapes today. We have a hop going on, so be sure to join us. I'm gonna start off with a watercolor piece to add to my washi tape card. Here I have the watercolor paper set and delicate bouquet from all to new. I'll have all of the supplies listed down below. I stamped this in obsidian pigment ink and accidentally double stamped it. So I'm just flipping it over and I'm gonna stamp on the back. I was a little bit worried about whether or not you would see the images on the back kind of bleed through as the paper got wet through the watercolor process, but I didn't have any issues with that at all. So if you do make a mistake on your watercolor paper, flip it over and use the other side. Fortunately, the texture of this paper is very similar front to back, so that's not an issue. Sometimes the back side of watercolor paper, the pigments don't move quite the same. I didn't find that to be the case with this one. I also have the watercolor metallic 14 pan set here from Altenew, and I'm using aquamarine and gold pearl, just two colors in my watercolor today. So I've just added a little bit of water to the aquamarine marine pan and I'm just dropping in that pigment. This is a wet on dry technique. I have quite a bit of water and pigment on my brush and I'm just dropping that into each individual petal. As those dry a little bit, I'll come in with the gold pearl watercolor. And same thing, only this time I'm gonna use the gold pearl as my shadow color. So I'm only dropping it at the base and you can see that I have a fairly pigmented mixture of it on my brush, less water with this compared to the first coat with the aquamarine. Then I'll come in with a little bit higher pigmentation of the aquamarine and kind of blend out that edge. After I'm done blending out the edge with the aquamarine, I'll come in with clean clear water on my brush and blend out the edge of the aquamarine. There I can see that I missed adding a little bit of gold to there, so I'll come back later and add that in. But here's where I'm adding the clean, clear water just to blend out that edge there so that I don't have, I don't mind having some sharp edges, but I don't want too many, too many of them because I still want it to have a soft look. So here I'm just adding in that gold that I missed the first time around, and then I'll move on to the leaves which are only going to be the gold pearl, again, that wet on dry technique. I really love the look of metallic watercolors on white paper. I know traditionally a lot of people use them on darker cardstocks, but I love how soft they look on the white cardstock. So if you haven't tried that, give it a whirl. So here I have two washi tapes. I have the mini dots washi tape and brushed grid washi tape. One you can see is a more narrow strip, whereas the other one is gonna cover your whole card front. I'm gonna use the grid washi tape for this card. I'm gonna pop up my watercolor piece and my cinnamon strip from, that's the original cinnamon strips stamp set on foam tape. And I'll have all of the supplies linked down below. Here's the finished card. And I wish that my photos captured the shimmer and shine of these metallic watercolors as much as they shimmer in person. But I absolutely love how the washi tape, the brush grid washi tape, pairs with the illustrative style of that stamp set. So here I have Grand Stream Washi Tape, and this is another wide washi that is going to cover the full front of your card, an A2 size card, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I just adhere it to the glass mat, and then I kind of snug the card panel up underneath it. And then what I'll do, once I peel it up off the glass mat, is I'll miter the corner. So I'm gonna trim a little bit of the excess off the corners, so that I can fold it around the back and there won't be any bulkiness at the corner. You'll get a really nice sharp hospital corner, if you will, once you fold it. So I just kind of press it against the glass mat and fold it over to get that nice crisp edge. And then what I decided to do with this is actually fussy cut some of these strips. So I did single lines, three lines together, a group of two lines together, a few more single lines, and kind of just Fuzzy cut different groupings of them because I wanted to pop this up on a card front. So after I got everything cut out, I'll line it up on the card front. And once I get it on, I really like the look of this with it just the white, but I, knowing that I wanted to add a die cut sentiment to it, I decided that it would be really cool to have the many dots washi tape behind it to kind of ground my sentiment and almost act as a sentiment strip. So I'm gonna add a strip of that here. 
And then same thing, I'm gonna just fold that around the back of the card so it's nice and adhered. And then I'll go ahead and arrange my grand stream stripes here so that I see what kind of arrangement I want, what kind of spacing I want in between them. And then I'll add foam tape. So I use the Derice double-sided foam strips and these are, I feel like these are so versatile. Like they pretty much fit under anything. Um, even your die cut sentiments. So I use these quite a bit and they fit perfectly behind these really narrow stripes. So I'm just making sure that the cut edge at the top is lined up. And fortunately the piece of cardstock that I cut these from was the same size as the panel here. I just have pre-cut A2 size Nina classic crust solar white. So that worked out really nicely. I didn't have to trim anything in the end. If you got a nice pop of black behind it, and then I cut four pieces of 110 pound black cardstock with the Hello die that is included in the envelope liner die set. And I stack those together and that's my sentiment. You could also add a sub sentiment if you like. Moving on to the last card, I have the narrow rainbow washi tape. This tape is awesome. It's, you know, instant rainbow right on your card. It's a great size, I think. So what I have here is a, an A2 size piece of Nina Classic Crest, and then I have a scrap piece of this teal cardstock here. And rather than trimming it, I wanted to have it on a diagonal, so I'm just gonna tape it to the card front with the narrow rainbow washi tape, and then I'm gonna take it directly to my trimmer. So rather than figure out where I need to trim it or what angle it needs to be at to, to cut a diagonal panel, I'll just do it this way, which I find is easier. So I'm just lining up my eight, my white card front and I'll just trim away the excess card stock and it, everything will be perfectly aligned. After that, I'll just add a bit of glue or glue tape behind the teal card stock and get that adhered down completely because right now it's only attached by the washi tape. And that's my cutter pillar trimmer. It's the cutter pillar crop trimmer, which I absolutely love. I really like that trimmer. I always get a great cut. And last thing is I'll just add a sentiment from Sentiment Strips 2 with the Obsidian Pigment Ink. And that card is done. I'm not even going to embellish it. That's it. Just clean, simple, super quick to make, you guys. Like, you could make so many cards that way with so many different occasions. Really easy. And that is it for our washi tape cards today. I hope you guys enjoyed these projects and will join us on the hop. If you try any of these projects, I'd love it if you tagged me on social media at Notable Ink so I can see what you're creating. And of course, tag Altenew as well. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell down below. And I'll see you soon with more inspiration.